family. Hey, what's up with it? <laughs> okay. Whew. Oh, wow. You guys ready? Okay. It is 9.02 in the a.m. Today is Friday, the 28th of April 2017 and I have been up literally since like six o'clock okay I've been up like six o'clock this morning my phone got to ring it off okay um, from a chapter of my past that just stepped me out the blue so um, I, I got <laughs> I got some things going on in my little personal life that's just like whoa like wow so um, anyway, so that kind of had me up, but it was all good. It was some really good stuff, but it's just blowing me back right now. Um, and so I'm not going to even get into all of that because we don't even know who all watching. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to keep it like that. Uh, but um, but I came in. I gave you guys a couple days to just kind of digest some of the things that I had spoke on. And I, I still haven't put up the 420 Festival, um, but uh, I am going to uh, put that up. I have to. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of motherfuckers is like really waiting on it. Um, but I do want to debut a motherfucker that I showed the other day that I did get from the festival. No other than um, Harlequin. Check her out now, though. Check her out now, okay? I repotted her, and I put her... When you uh, start your little small ones like this, you always want to start them out with a, a, a product made by Fox Form. And it's um, 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 Sea Force. Hold on, let me get something to wipe my hands with now. Hold up. Now my hands nasty than the motherfucker. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on, family. Fox Warm. Ocean Force. Okay, I had to look at the bag, too. I had to look at the, look at the bag. I said Sea Force, but I wanted to look at the bag because the bag was right outside my door. And it's actually called Ocean Forest. But it's made by Fox Form, so you want to start them off with that. But that little baby right there, that's Harlequin. Um, that is a CBD plant. Baby, you uh, you got to get that in your twist. Like, you're not going to be no kind of sewer if you don't know nothing about no CBD. You better get on. Okay? That motherfucker right there, that, oh my God. To get a little oil of that, to get some oil about maybe that much oil and a little vial about that much, you're talking about maybe $70 easily for that, you know. But And, and I'm going to take an ounce of that and make me a big jar of oil, okay, a jar. <laughs> and But that motherfucker right there, I'm so loving it. Now, this one right here, check her out. This is called Blue Dream. Check her out. Is she not coming on and getting on about her business? Yes. So yesterday I gave them some nitrogen. So that's why they sitting in, in here with mama right now. Because I just wanted I wanted them to come in right quick and introduce y'all to everybody. And um, But I'm going to take them back outside a little bit. Because today it's supposed to get up to like 90. And so um, I've been doing 12-12 on the rest of my crops. Which means they get 12 hours daylight, 12 hours complete darkness. And so they just been uncovered. So them motherfuckers is out there like, rrr, rrr. Mm. them motherfuckers are stretching out. You hear me? And so uh, I gave them uh, double doses of phosphorus and potassium yesterday because they're in their end stages of budding. So when I tell you them motherfuckers are so goddamn pretty, now they're getting old now. So they look a little tatted because as they begin to age, Regardless to what you do to them, they don't look good no more. But they begin to, that's, you know, the, that's when the buds are feeding. It's no longer feeding so much to the leaves, it's feeding to the buds. And so, um, giving it more uh, uh, potassium and giving it more phosphorus, that's what you want to do at this time when it's, you know, in its bud stages. But when it's flowering like this and it's like in its vegetative state, you want to go with nitrogen because what that's going to do is that's going to increase the robust of the roots and make the roots just go haywire in that box form ocean forest soil, okay? And But you know what? I was, um, because now I'm able to, I don't have to buy anymore because now my shit yields me at least a, a gram a day. 
you know, so I could just go out there and just pick a gram off every day like it's whatever. So I'm really tripping right now off my own shit. So what you getting right now, nigga, I'm on my own shit. Huh? So that lets you know, I know, I know something about this right here. This is what the fuck I do. Okay, I'm an earth sign through and through, and this is what the fuck I do. Yes, so, but I was checking out the Skywalker I got, right? How about I crunch that motherfucker up and two seeds came out? So, damn, one of my Skywalkers is going to be a male plant, but I got two of them. But one of them motherfuckers is going to be a, uh, uh, a male plant because it's, 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 uh, it's giving off seeds. And see, the thing is, you really don't, you want a lot of female plants. Because a lot of female plants is going to give you bigger buds. You know, they don't have seeds in them. You know, and so, um, you know, or then like you have like a mother plant that they just use just for cloning. You know, they just grow her out just for cloning. Just like for, you know, like people, some people that breed dogs, they have like this one bitch that they've had for forever, and they keep her very, very healthy, and they just make litters out of her. Well, just like that with the trees as well. Like, they'll have just one mother plant, and they just constantly make seedlings off of her and make uh, clones and things off of her. And then, too, some of these clones have come from seeds because um, I do know the CBD, both of these actually came from seeds, and then I got a couple of seeds from my Skywalker. I'm a, I've never really gotten to the seedling thing, into um, growing from seeds and stuff. I haven't gotten into that yet. So, you know, but I do bag them. So I am going to bag those and put them in a little Ziploc and put them to the side, you know what I'm saying? And try to figure out which route I'm going to go on these seeds and things too. But it's good to know that I was able to extract two uh, uh, seeds um, from my Skywalker. So, but um, one thing I also want to say is I went to my doctor. I got my new rec. Let me show y'all what the rec looks like. Now, my um, um, rec is called the it's called your recommendation. Let me cover up my recommendation ID numbers and shit because it has you. It has my California driver's license number on it. It has yeah. It has my California driver's license number on there, my recommendation identification through the state number, issue date 42517, expiration date 42418. Um, verification hotline number, so in case I'm ever like out and about and the police ask me, okay, well, what's happening? Well, you know, you got your wreck on you or whatever, or somebody need to call and verify that I'm really about this life. Um, there is a 24-hour telephone verification uh, number, that whereas you just put in my recommendation number and know that I'm going home that night. Yeah, she's able to do this. Okay, so, and it got my doctor's name and all that kind of stuff. So, let me just cover up the pertinent shit. And my doctor's info. And just show you what it looked like. So, now you do see Tina. You do see... Tina. So yeah, that's what your wreck looks like. So I got me a new wreck. Damn, this shit got me jittery. Oh my God. Nigga, and I didn't do nothing but put just a little bit in my watch tonight. Oh my God, this shit got me flamed the fuck up. Wow. <laughs> I put some molasses up in them the other day, you know, because they only last stages and molasses also make it robust. It adds microbes to the soil. And so right now, I got to keep these motherfucking little caterpillars and shit up out of my shit. Because every time I go out there, I'm picking these motherfuckers off. And they trying to eat up my shit. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, so I got me a new car, too. So let me show you my old one and my new one. So I got, I got a new car, too. See? Bam. Bam. Gold seal. Gold seal. Holla. You know what I'm saying? Let you know that, nigga, uh, I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, this one right here, this one expired April 26th. And this one, okay, so then, therefore, this motherfucker right here is tapped out. But now I got this one right here. So, this was happening. I'm, I'm about this life. I'm able to do this. I, you know. I'm, so, I, because I know some people feel it with your way about this. And they be like, you know what? I don't like that and that, that and bop, 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 bop. Look, check this out. Look, we's grown over here. Everybody ain't running from nobody. Everything is all legal. This is what's happening. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be no disrespect to nobody, but this is my motherfucking channel. 
okay? And some people do want to know about this life. And let me tell you another motherfucking thing that my doctor told me the other day when I was up there to go holler at him. He told me, he said, Tina, you know in 2018, the cost of a gram is going to be three times the amount of what it is right now. Let me let that sink in. The, 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 the cost of a gram. So he was saying, so theoretically, say for instance, right now you're able to buy an eighth. You know, an eighth for $30. That's going to an eighth, an eighth for $30 is a pretty decent shelf. You know what I'm saying? Probably top shelf for an eighth. Mm, mm, between mid and top shelf. Just depends if you get it off the motherfucking uh, app, though, and tell them what, oh, according to the app, you're going to give an eight. That's going to be five grams that y'all offer right now. And plus, I'm doing happy hour. You know what I'm saying? It just depends. You know what I mean? But over there on Broadway, man, they got happy hour. Happy hour, you're going to get the best deals and stuff. Because an eighth is usually 3.5 grams, but some places doing happy hour run you four grams or five. So it just depends. So just, let me just say $30. Okay, right now it's $30. Okay. In next year, though, oh, my God, that motherfucker is going to be three times. So I was like, Doc, you saying that's 90 He said, Tina, that's $90 for an eighth. So fuck all that. I'm trying to put y'all niggas on what's happening right here to save y'all motherfuckers some money. Now, if you want to be out there and still trying to do that right there, that's cool. But the taxes, they got to, now they're going to, state of California, now they're going to tax it. And plus, give it like a, gets like a luxury tax or whatever. Y'all see right now, cigarettes is $10. Cigarettes went up 10 motherfucking dollars. $10, the, what was that, about a month ago? Yeah, cigarettes went up $10 in the state of California. So, and now they find a way to tax for marijuana, because right now they don't, you, you can't, they not taxing for cannabis right now. Right now, this thirty dollars nigga get run me thirty and it's thirty, no problem. You want to dab? No problem. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't even no um, seven point seven five percent, eight percent on none of that shit. It's just whatever it is and whatever it is. And here in California, our dispensaries is like stores, okay? It's just like a regular store to go to, like a liquor store. Get, nigga, give me some chips to go with it. Shit, nigga. Can I get a Pepsi on the side? Yeah. It's just like a little store. It's just a, it's just like a regular store. That's just what it is. Um, so, at any rate, um, y'all, this is what it is. So, if y'all is on this right here, and this is, you know, y'all also getting into this life right here, especially if it, if, if your uh, state is friendly with it, then therefore, hey, you better get on and quit bullshitting, they don't, especially if you, if you about that life, what the fuck are you paying for weed for? Why the hell are you paying? I, man, I've been trying to figure that shit out for a long time, and the only reason why, let me tell you something, the only reason why I ran out this last time, because that last time I think I had done like four or five, right? Ran out because I was giving it away, you know, to, you know, my, my, my friends that are also take the same medications. I was giving it to them, you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll come over here, you know, we sit around, we sitting around the pool or whatever, we chill, we chilling, we got the carafe out, we talk, hey girl, and all that old type of shit, they got they wreck, they got their car, they motherfucking purse too, uh, bitch, um, go ahead on and take that to the pad, you know what I mean, go ahead on and take that with you, that nigga, that's just a parting gift, don't worry about it, you know what I mean, so, being that I'm that way when my girls come around or, you know, my friends that really get down like that and they, you know, they not, they don't, they not growing like I'm growing. So, then therefore, we help each other out, you know what I'm saying, to keep it cut down on that medical cost. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, at any rate, uh, what else is going on? Today, my baby has some lifeguard training that he has to do today. So, he got today, tomorrow, and Saturday. And so tonight he go from five to nine at night, and then uh, tomorrow he got. Let's see. I think he got nine to five tomorrow and nine to five on Sunday, and then my daughter got work. To, I'm gonna be running my motherfucking ass off. Do you understand me? I'm running around, and then today, okay. So it's like today, all three of them be gone. Um, for. I think I think I I think I only have like about an hour in between 
or something like that between somebody will be here. Some, it's like that. Like somebody coming home, somebody leaving. Somebody coming home, somebody's leaving. Somebody, this one got to be here. This one got to be here. This Man, my house is crazy right now. My shit is crazy. But shout out to my motherfucking daughter. She ain't got about a couple of motherfucking weeks left in school. Nigga, so yeah, I'm excited about that shit. Yes, indeed. Her daddy gonna come all down here and shit. I ain't seen that motherfucker in a minute. That motherfucker's like, where I'm gonna stay? Oh, shit, shit, nigga. I don't know. Shit. I don't know where the fuck you gonna stay. It ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? But that is my ex-husband. That is the father of my motherfucking kids. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Find you someplace up in there, around up through there. You know what I'm saying? You familiar. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't got nothing to do with me. Let me just be crystal clear. You know what I mean? It ain't got the goddamn thing to do with me. So, um, so I got that going on, and I got some cool shit to talk about, but I can't really talk about it because I don't know who's watching my shit, okay? Um, so, uh, <laughs> wow, well, it's, 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 it's a trip on how life has a way of turning itself around just when you, you know, you thinking shit is all bad, or you going through this, this, and this. And uh, I see you, goddammit. I'm going to call you back in just a few more minutes.